And uh, power to the people. I'm glad to see y'all here. Quiet up and listen. My heart. I, I love everybody for coming. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, today is uh, also Banks Day, and the banks are closed. Yeah. And uh, they got our money still. Uh, fuckers. And uh, we're not protesting them today, but we're gonna be here uh, to uh, talk about what we're gonna do to them too. But a lot of police are off today. He's good, Jojo. He knows. A lot of police Hold are off up, today. Good morning. Yeah. Hey, lean back there. Yeah, that's our sign. Thanks a lot, hombre. Yeah, join the protest. We got a sign for you. Yeah, take the <laughs> sign. Put on your trash can. I'll buy LA on this. Where's that marker at? We're going to mark his trash can. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, we mark his trash can. That's CCA. We protested them, too. Uh, we came on their banquet day, and we ate up their food, and they threw us out later on. Yeah. Asking too many questions. They threw out Comrade uh, Commodore Cush. Then they threw out Deacon. They, well, they threw me out with you, and I said, why are you throwing me out with you? I, yeah. I, Hang around with the wrong people, Comrade. Yeah, that's what that, that's what that was. <laughs> But uh, that was a, that was a good day too. It's a good place to be kicked out of. Uh, but what we're here to do is uh, to protest in solidarity with uh, with a lot of organizations and also with uh, California hunger hunger strike prisoners. The prisoners are on hunger strike. They can't be here today, so we're gonna just have some signs out and say some things for them. Uh, we lost five comrades uh, fighting for uh, education rehabilitation. Uh, you got a lot of people in jail for drugs, uh, unnecessarily. Uh, Sheriff Lee Abaca wants $2.66 billion, $2 billion, $66 million to build a new uh, county state prison, a county prison, because they're, they're state prisons now. Institution. Yeah, and that $2.66 billion could go to the teachers and health care. It can go to a lot of things. Uh, and we can uh, fix education with it. We can do a lot of things with that $2.66 billion. And I would like to uh, get a pledge for everybody who would like to think about it. And at the end of the day, we just get a pledge together and uh, to take that money and use it for something much better than for another prison. And he's under. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Maintenance crew for that organization. Are yeah, really I didn't people. think you worked today. You came to work. But I think you know, it came like that you forgot. Hold up, hold up. TC ain't finished uh, talking. What we got to do? Oh, thank you. Uh, what, what we got to do is kind of figure out how we're going to take the money. It's easy to do it. Registered voters, and then we can take the money from them. It's not a hard thing to do. They don't deserve that money. We don't need another prison. We got enough prisons, and they're making money. They're making too much money off of uh, the establishment. Hey. Of, of, of the backs of the poor, and that's we don't we don't need that. And so they're not going to spend the money on education or rehabilitation. And we need to do that here on these streets. We need more. They're building schools in Iraq and Afghanistan, and they're not building them here. And we need to take that money and show them how to do it with, with the money. They're not being transparent. We need to be transparent <laughs> with the money. And we need to show them what transparency is, even in our own organizations. You know, we can't ask them to be transparent, and we're not. So we have to show them how it's done. Hey, so hey, come I'm on, man. I'm glad y'all came out. Fire to loud. the people. Anybody have anything to say, you know, please feel free to speak. God bless you. Thank you. Fire to the people. Fire to the people. Mic check. Mic check. <coughs> Yesterday, yeah. me and the comrade, Deacon, went to Jericho con conference. Talking about crowds. We're talk today we're talking about a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on with the prison systems. That's right. We got a lot of comrades. They're locked up politically. They will not get out unless we fight for them. That's, right. That's why today we're doing what we're doing. Because you got one one of our brothers that's been locked down for 36 years right. for a, a murder that he had never done. He got accused of killing two federal officers. Okay. Brother Pelletier, like he said. It's doing 36 years. Right. And it's, they say he'll never get out. He went to the parole board five years ago and they told him to come back in 15 years. He's doing two life sentences. So, the thing of it is, 
Because we got a lot of brothers and sisters in there that will not get out as we fight for them. So all we got to do is keep getting outreach out to people. Let's get this movement bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Jack, sir, call! Mike Jack, I, I got to find all, I got to find all the bill in my hand. And I would like, anybody would like to join this five dollars with one of your five dollars, we can turn it over here until they occupy Skid Row Town Street. They're in great need, they're hungry. Sometimes they don't have the correct stuff. And this will help deal with that, beer notwithstanding. Is this the only five dollars? This is the only five dollars that we can be matched with? How about one dollar? Here's another five dollars. Match it up with two, two dollars. Anybody would like to put your money where your mouth is? Revolution ain't free. Broke, Hell, we give it to him at City Hall. Come, we can't give it here. Broke, broke, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, comrade, brother. Tease all yours, baby. Hey, you, no, you the treasure. Somebody, hell, you somebody do take the judge on somebody else. I know I can't take somebody it. All right. <laughs> power, power to the people. Power to the people. Now, at 2 o'clock, we're all going to rally up. We're going to march to Twin Towers. We got our mothers, brothers and sisters. They're going to be rallied at Twin Towers speaking about their children that's locked <laughs> up. And I would like for everybody to join us. Call your friends. Have them come join us. Because we need to show our support with our brothers and sisters that can't be out here in these streets with us. They're stuck in the walls. In these concentration camps. They call them prisons. They're not prisons. They're incarceration camps. Okay. If it was a jail, it's not a jail. It's incarceration camps. But if I may, they have a, they have they're making a lot of money on the prison industry complex. It's a lot of money that they're making, and they're making it off the backs of those uh, even on drugs. Uh, it's very it's very sad giving people on drugs a case. California versus Robinson states that they need, you know, rehabilitation centers. They're not building them. They're building, you know, what you said, which is concentration camps. And that's how they're making their money. And they could care less. And the United States has more political prisoners and more prisoners than any other country per capita. And we need to we need to change that. And we need to reverse people's way of thinking. You know, and and we need more education and not penitentiaries. And we also need to close these banks down to get our money back. And we're starting with that $2.66 billion that they're trying to give to Lee Baca. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a campaign to, um, they're going to have a campaign, to, a scare tactic. You know, robberies down, uh, murders down, rapes down, gang banging is even down, you know. And it's just a shame that they're going to have a campaign to scare tactics to say, oh, let's take that money and build penitentiaries right here in L.A. And it's going to be like the movie Escape from L.A. Or like Escape from New York. You know, they're, they're building penitentiaries. And, and this is what they're doing. Because they don't want people like this, cluster bombs of people. You know, like in Tunisia, and, and Occupy London, Occupy Barcelona. You know, they don't, they don't want that. They don't want people telling the government what to do with the money. Because the one percenters are controlling everything. So, to hell with the Bilderbergs. Power to the people. Thank you. Oh, no.